The other thing that I believe in is you want some music playing. Now, some of the uh, young comedy guys, they will play wacky music before their show, and I kind of disagree with that. I think you want to play something good before the show. Music, uh, uh, a famous musician friend of mine I won't name here, told me very clearly that there's only two kinds of music. We were talking about styles and honky-tonk versus rhythm and blues versus rock and roll and rockabilly. And he said, you know, there's really only two types of music. And I said, what are those? And he said, well, I prefer the good kind. So I would say the same is true before your show. Play the good kind of music. Uh, if you want people to be able to chat and have a community feel before you go on, play music without lyrics that has improvisation to it, like jazz music or rhythm and blues music or something like that. Or if you have a style about your own show that you want to help, pick a piece of music that helps you with that. Would be a good way to do it. But let that room be warm. Don't start with a cold audience. Let that room be warm and let them be comfortable. And then when you get on stage... You say hi. The person who's the first person the audience sees is going to be the person they identify with as a host for the rest of the evening, and they want to feel comfortable with you like they're visiting you in your living room or they've invited you over to their house. So just say hi and smile at them, and don't feel like you have a whole bunch of business to take care of in those opening moments. And then what you do, once you're on stage getting ready to host an improvisation show, we'll talk about that in another clip. So in the meantime, there's another show prep clip for you to do with pre-show. This is Les McGeehee from Plays Well With Others and Expert Village. I'll see you in the next clip.